Courtney and I have been traveling all around Jeju Island, trying to get a better understanding of the heart of the Jeju food scene. Our goal is a deeper and richer understanding of what distinguishes Jeju Island's food from the rest of Korea. And with the help of local experts from the Jeju Food and Wine Festival, we're diving deep into the vast ocean of Jeju cuisine. They selected 17 representative restaurants from their list of 200 participating in the Jeju Gourmet Week. And right now, Courtney and I are in the middle of it all, learning more with every step while finding more questions to ask. We just found out that we're gonna head to Chame Guksu, which I've never had before, but I understand it's probably one of the most famous Goki Guksu places on Jeju Island. Courtney, let's get some pork noodles. Jame Guksu is a behemoth institution for Jeju Goki Guksu. With countless online reviews, you can expect long lines of people waiting to eat here any time of the day. But what exactly is driving their popularity? Sure, they make delicious traditional Jeju pork broth noodles, but beyond that, there's something deeper and more special than just the quality of the food. Usually at places like this, the service is good enough to get by, but here it was like we were family. Our server smiled when they noticed us, took us to our table when it was prepared, explained everything about their ingredients with true passion. I could see the kitchen working tirelessly, like a well-oiled machine. It's just too hard to explain, really. All I know is, we came here for breakfast, ate some of the best food of our life, and despite the line of people, we still felt welcomed, as if we were in someone's home. I am so impressed. Actually, everything on their menu, almost everything is Jeju-san. As far as the kimchi goes, even the gochugaru, everything is Gukne-san ingredients, so nothing imported. The banchan looks amazing. So we have some samjang with some, it looks like chamgiram. It's beautiful. Definitely samjang with chamgiram. Beautiful, beautiful jot. Seiyu jot. Wow. Wow, Oh, it's like falling apart. There's, it's so tender. <laughs> you see here, this dombe goki looks so tender and soft. I'm gonna try it with nothing first, just a pure pork. Jeju san pork. Mm. Ah, so soft. Wow, they gave us some mul mandu for service. We got a plate of nice steaming umandu. That is like some of the best pork I've ever tasted. It's so soft. It's so soft. Right. The fatty part of it. Umandu. Yeah. It has so much flavor. Mmm. Umandu is nice. I love mandu. I need to do it with kimchi though. Their kimchi is amazing here. Say you just. Okay, perfect. And garlic. There we go. This bite is gonna be pure heaven right here. The bowl. The meat melts, just melts into all the other flavors. Wow. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
맛있게 드세요. 조금 매울 수 있어요. 아, 매운 맛 좋아요. 아, 괜찮아요? 네, 네, 괜찮아요. 맛있게 드세요. 고맙습니다. 와우. Wow. It tastes like pork bones. Just boiled forever. Boiled forever. It's actually a little salty. They have salt at the table, but I would not add salt to this personally. Man. This is like pure pork flavor. So delicious. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I like on a rainy day. All right, one bite with the kimchi. Mmm. Really good. Really, really good. All right, now, the second thing, bibimguksu. If you guys watch my channel, you know I love bibimguksu more than usual guksu. I'm a sucker for cold noodles, so. Here we get one, two, three, we get four slices of pork, some gim garu, um, some cucumber, cucumber, lots of kong, and then buried underneath that are, it's just a big bowl of beautiful, beautiful noodles. So I'm gonna mix this up. From every every bowl of goki guksu I've had so far, usually the bibim guksu is a little too vinegary for my taste. I like it more subtle, but it works well with the greasy pork. Um, I'm gonna see if this one's any different to my taste. Sometimes you get that subtle vinegar taste from uh, using rice vinegar or even makgeolli vinegar. I'll try it with a piece of pork first. Tamegoksu, you win. This is my kind of bibimbuksu. The, vi the vinegar is definitely the background. Like the vinegar is there, but I'm gonna try just the noodle. Mm. Oh, I'm so happy. But here it's like, Durgiram taste. Jamgiram taste. This is so good. Guys. Yeah, Courtney, you gotta try this one. Oh, baby. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna crave this. There's a reason this place is so famous. Garlic, some Changyang gochu. Mm. Mm. I don't know, man. This was gonna go down as. This is a legendary meal for me. This place is amazing. Guys, there's always a wait here, but it's worth it. That one is so... Oh. Mm. oh, these noodles. These are like my dream noodles. <laughs> Man, I gotta give a shout out to my friend Sharif, Full Belly Travels. Actually, he told us to come here a long time ago. Um, so I was really happy to hear that the Jeju Wine Festival wanted to send us here. Got super excited for it. Um, I think that this place really, Gokiguksu clicked for me because of this place. 
and I know a few of you commented some really good Okiguksu places in my last video. So I definitely have to go check those out next time I come to Jeju Island. But right now, for me, this is the standard. I will compare everything to this place. Shigogil, Country Road. We walk into the place and the owner is chopping a mountain of onions the size of Halasan. He welcomes us with a huge smile but asks to remain off camera. No problem. The smell is intoxicating. Gochugaru, garlic, onion, onion, and more onion. This tiny shop has been serving Nakchi Bokum for over 30 years in an alleyway in the center of Jeju City. First thing that comes to the table is chongukjang. That looks like Love some that. killer chongukjang. This chongukjang is, it looks dank. It's like so thick. It's like gravy. Really strong mushroom, actually. Basok mud. Strong mushroom. Yeah. Wow, it's my own. It looks so good. My title, my title. Oh, it's so beautiful. I want to get a good, like. Cucumber in there. Lots and lots of onion. I can smell tons of garlic. I'm gonna try, actually, before I mix it with any rice or anything, let's just try. I'm gonna try a piece of the nakchi. Wow. It tastes so fresh. Love it. So guys, actually, it's got a lot of that pepper taste, but it's mostly garlic and soy. It's not really spicy. We're gonna make baller. We're gonna make the best nakchi bokum beating up. Chibokum too much, mm -hmm. but it seems like a really good drinking food. And their chongguk jang is some of the best I've ever had. I'm it's weird, but I'm like more impressed with the chongguk jang. Maybe it's because I've had a lot of chongguk jang, I haven't had a lot of nak chibokum, and this I, I have a lot to compare it to. And this is seriously so good. Chunky, yeah. Which is my favorite. So, Jungi, what's she? Uh, Chungguk Chang a Hobaki soil? Yeah, Chungwa soil in the Chinja Mashi soil. Ah, Jeju do style. Ah, okay, okay. It's so good. Oh, come on, so they die. No more Mashi soil. I didn't know that. So, it's a Jeju style Chungguk Chang. They put Hobak in them. That's awesome. That's one thing about this project, I feel like we learned so much about Korean food. It's so interesting because it's like a potato. I've had potato in Cheongchak. I've never had pumpkin. Wow. It works so well. I actually didn't know, 
I didn't know they were famous for their chungguk shang here. So Courtney found her dish. It's like Courtney's favorite food in Korea. All the home. Crunchy, crunchy home. Mm. The home is really nice. Time for a coffee break. On Jeju Island, you got plenty of choices, but Rang Rang is an exceptional one. Here we ordered their famous fried tok for dessert, a super crunchy rice cake pancake covered in cinnamon, sugar, and bean powder. With a cup of coffee or fresh Jeju orange smoothie, you really can't go wrong here. This is as Jeju as it gets. We just finished having lunch, so now we're at Cafe Rang Rang. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's so beautiful here. We're just looking out on an orange farm. So we ordered um, an orange smoothie, iced orange smoothie, iced drip coffee, and also char dokui, which is gonna be like a fried rice cake. Jeju orange smoothie next to an orange farm. That's nice. Jeju cafes, they just, they always amaze me. I don't understand, they're always so good. Fried dok. Man, that's nice. There's definitely cinnamon sugar on there too. Mm. That's really good. It's so crispy on the outside. And then you get this like little cinnamon cinnamon sugar. Or maybe it's just sugar, I don't know. But definitely you get the like nuttiness from the bean powder. It tastes like a chewy elephant ear. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> An elephant ear. If you guys don't know, American fair food, there's a really famous American street food called elephant ear. And it's like deep fried chewy dough. It tastes like this. <laughs> this is better though. Gokiguksu, incredible. A nopo nakchi bokum matjip, unforgettable. Hand drip coffee and an orange smoothie, amazing. What else could there be? How about some more Jeju black pig? Courtney once told me that every night on Jeju Island should end with a barbecue, so I know she's on board. How about we check out this place that features a surfing pig as a mascot? and even offers guests pickup service so that your party can drink freely without worrying about driving. I like this place already. Once again, we're getting more hokdueji. This place is called, what, Got, got Hokdueji Yontanggui? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We have some kimchi jjigae already. Nice. I need some bap though. Nice. Cheers, Court. Dude, kimchi jjigae after soju? Too good. Courtney said, What is a night on Jeju Island without Hukuji? So here we are again. This one is. Actually, the price is really nice compared to some of the other ones we've covered. I get the feeling that this place is a uh, suljip. Yeah. They really want like, you know, it's more like a, a late night soju uh, yontangui place. The kimchi jjigae is baller. Very close to that. So if you wanted to come and drink and then 
like get a ride to your hotel after, it would be. Yeah, it's so good. I'm gonna, really good. I'm gonna eat this it's without. Really it's putting the spot. Ah, wow. I might order like more later. <laughs> Oh, chinta bulmat, really bulmat. Mmm, more than I expected. A really yontan mat. Wow, I love it. Kutoji, <sighs> so good. All forms. I mean, it's just always good. Wow, I'm really surprised by the bulma. That's good. Everything is standard gokiji, but they do everything well. Kimchi is so good. I like it with the kimchi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah. With the sanjan? Yeah. Well, it's nice, like crunchy lettuce. Going hard, man. I'm devouring yeah. this. It's, I'm eating so oh, fast. Just vegetables. Yeah. Feels good. Raw garlic. Fatty, delicious pork, but then, like, that's a nice, fresh, crunchy vegetable. It's always a good thing. Mm. Love it. Ooh, Sorry. I love that pork. Full pork. Never apologize for that. You want some more? Perfect bite. I forgot the samjang though. I did all of that before the soju taste got out of my mouth. All right, let's try the ogyebsal. Boom. Ogyebsal time. The best time. Oh, meat cheers. <laughs> hey, that'll be good in the kimchi jjigae though. No problem. Wow, mm. dude, the fat is so delicious. Yo, yo, bring Jang Jigae. My question: What is your sohake? That's my favorite Korean word right now. So, sohake. Muksa. Sure. No, 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 it is really Oh, no, yeah, it, I mean, it is. Really? I love barbecue. That's why I married her. <laughs> I love barbecue. Barbecue. But wow. watching the sunset. Is a, yeah, we saw a good, good sunset one. today on Jeju Island. Yeah. We're relaxing in the rain. These days, my Sohaken is yelling Yogyo and ordering Dwing Jan Jigae. Actually guys, I don't know why, but tonight for some reason this hukdoji 
with the samjang, that's what's really doing it for me. Like just slathering it with samjang. It's just, this is my bite tonight, man. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Thank you, Jeju Food and Wine Festival. I feel so blessed. Thank you for bringing us here. This is a great place. I really love the Ogipsal, actually. Ogipsal is amazing, it's like right? This, the fatty portion is so... Like, it's so juicy. Yeah. It's like juicy. Yeah. It's like cheesy. I don't know how else to describe it. it. Tastes like cheese. You can see a little black hair in there, too. Is there like a word for that? Like cheesy, oh, no. like funky? You guys, in the comments, let me know if there's a Korean word for cheesy. I will ask Jane, our translator, no, but every comment it's helps. It's not cheese. It's like, what is the flavor of cheese? Like, farmy? Farmy, yeah. Maybe farmy. Stinky, but in a good way. Like, yeah. like wet hay. Always use wet, wet hay, hay to describe cheese. Wet hay. Farmy. You get the little sliver of... You get the little sliver of skin. It's crunchy. 